log 20.115. Day 7420 of wishful thinking. Dear me from the past, if you're listening to this right now, then it must mean we've... You have done something wrong to drastically alter the time and space continuum. <laughs> I made you look. Of course we both know this can yet never will happen because we're both too stubborn to identify our mistakes by then. Technically, I will be your me from the past from your checkpoint in life. Honestly, I was just trying to catch your attention and save you from the second-hand embarrassment you're about to feel. I must warn you, this is something so irrevocably, astoundingly cheesy and probably redolent of deep regret and make you reel into your person just thinking about this. But it's all worth it in the end. After all, we're doing this for our future. Well, I'm doing this for my future, which will be your present. <laughs> How did I do? <sighs> Look, I won't ask how you fare, especially not knowing what you must feel. And I know you would know why. I can't ask you if you own swift rides or fancy mansions. Mainly because we both know that you won't own a driver's license and you are not willing to pay for cleaners even if they're for free. I can promise you fair skies above or kind roads below. We have been mildly unfortunate since birth anyway the wind has blown. I can't ask you for anything else to fill in status quo. No false feelings, no covering of tracks, no competitiveness to uphold. We could come up with a bunch of poetic reasons to pretend to be at the top of our game all the time, but all I need for you is to be safe and more content than yesterday and the day before and the day before that. Whatever we used to call them, narratives, expectations, the painful truth, the harsh reality, these things that tell us who we are really are just about control, and control is just another word for predictability, but the world is nothing but unpredictable, and so are you. Life may cease once the clock stops ticking, but we were never chasing white rabbits in the first place. If you know me, which you should more than anyone else, this pains me the most, having to express love for anyone so deeply is not the person we are, or at least the person you used to be, but I'll make an exception just for you. Fundamentally, in a mental and emotional state, we're doing great, slow against the odds, but sure against all others and when you're feeling the other way around you know i'll always be here to listen to you ramble at 3 a.m about how atoms cannot touch one another and prove that feelings and these senses are just a state of mind now i won't keep you from what you're doing must i remind you you're probably slacking off something very important so you're certainly most welcome. Hugs and butterfly kisses, you from the past. You know what to do from here. <laughs>